Hello everyone! So in today's video, I am showing you how to make a briar horse jump and trot poles. So the materials you will need to make this are some type of paper tube, like from a toilet paper roll, a variety of paint, some painter's tape or masking tape, wooden dowels or skewers, I would use a thinner wooden dowel, uh, something to write with and a ruler, some things to cut with like scissors and, and an exacto knife, some type of sealer like Mod Podge, that's optional depending on what paint you're using, a thin type of cardboard, mine is from a tissue box, and again optional some silk plants that I'm using for like a decoration on top. When it's done you'll be able to see. So first you're gonna pick your paper tube. Make sure they are the same, you have two that are the same, and mine are actually from rolls of vet wrap. So then you're going to mark out three equal distance marks on both of them, like you can see it what I have here. Then I'm going to take an X-Acto knife, you could also use a pair of scissors or something, and I'm going to start kind of whittling a hole in each mark. And don't make it too big. Then you're going to slide in your skewer or wooden dowel until you uh, can get it all the way to the end and then you'll know how big you need to make your holes for the rest of them. Then I took some scissors to try to neaten up some of that extra paper that was kind of puffing out. So then you're going to measure and cut your wooden dowel to fit your jump. Make sure it's wide enough. Mine ended up being a little small for the horse, like they're a little bit short. You might want to make yours a little bit wider than I did. Then we're going to, to turn these wooden dowels into trot poles so you could paint them all one color. You could leave them how they are or you could use some tape to create equal distant stripes. So, so like you can see what I'm doing and then you're going to paint in, bet in between <laughs> the uh, tape. It's okay if you go on the tape, I would just brush away from the tape so you don't get it under. Then you're going to trace around the opening of one of your tubes and cut a piece of paper to paperboard to fit on top, or like I did, I put it inside because I'm doing something on top later. Then you're going to paint your paper tubes. Once the drop poles are dry, you can remove the paint, uh, the tape, and then I chose to seal in my drop poles and the tubes. Then for the top, I decided to glue on some fake plants at the top like you can see. Then when you're ready to put the jump together, you can just slide in the drop poles into the side of the jump. And I have three, so you can be three poles high, I guess. So you can see that's the green one I made, and then this blue one, I just glued the paperboard to the very top, and I painted that top part black, and then the rest was blue, and then I glued on the fake plant to the other one. So, hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any ideas on videos you'd like to see in the future, please feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching, bye!